in petroleum industry. Sparking is objectionable in mining industry. Sparking is objectionable wherever, wherever you have hydrogen cooling. Because hydrogen is inflammable. So where hydrogen is there, you have the fire problem. There you cannot go for this motor. So uh, you, you can recommend permanent magnet synchronous motor because in permanent magnet synchronous motor rotor has a permanent magnet. No pressures, no slipperies, no sparking. Okay, in DC machine, in DC machine, you have commutator, that commutator acts as an invert. To the DC motor, you are getting DC. Inside the armature of the DC motor, you have AC current. The type of current which flows in the armature conductors of the DC motor is AC current. So the commutator in a DC motor converts DC to AC. That is what is happening here. I have an inverter in my drive which converts DC to then I have the road position sensor and the gating circuit. So this whole dotted block, it looks like the computer. That is why uh, I don't have the real mechanical computer, by, but I have the electronic computer. Control system along with the inverter, this whole thing uh, looks like a DC motor. That is why we say a computer plus DC motor type of uh, signal. So, advantage of synchronous motor if you have a over excited synchronous motor, if you have a over excited synchronous motor, it operates at leading power factor. You don't need force combination, only lagging power factor circuits require force combination. Leading power factor circuits don't require force combination. What is combination? The process of turning off of the SAR is called. Combination. Force combination means you use a capacitor or you use a combination of L and C and force. Like you are forced to come to this class by some two teachers. Name of one teacher is L and the name of the other teacher is C. Like that uh, in a circuit L and C will force the current to zero. Such a circuit is called commutation circuit. Commutation circuit is must in induction motor drive because induction motor operates at lagging power. Advantage of synchronous motor, it operates at leading power factor. Uh, the, the, the machine itself has the effect of L and C. An overexcited synchronous motor has the effect of L and C. So that itself will complete the SCRs. You don't need the uh, computation. Except at starting. At starting low speeds, you have low voltage. Only at starting you may use uh, this. In running condition, you don't need the uh, force computation. That is the advantage of uh, synchronous motor. So that is called load computated uh, inverter fed signals. So what do you mean by load computation? Load computation means the load itself will computate the device. So my load is the uh, over excited synchronous motor uh, uh, drive which has both L and C that itself can computate the devices. So the last uh, topic is uh, vector controlled uh, drive. I think without uh, telling what is vector control, I cannot uh, stop my lecture on drives. So if you look at uh, IEEE papers, you find plenty of papers on vector control, uh, uh, induction motor drive, vector control, single motor drive, uh, vector control, BMS drive. So in the beginning of the lecture, we said DC motor is excellent. It has high starting torque, it has wonderful speed for characteristics. That is why we are selecting this for traction. So in DC machine, Always there is an angle of 90 degrees 
between the flux uh, and the current, current flows like this. So between the current and the flux you have 90 degrees, <coughs> Vi sin alpha, okay. phi i sin alpha is proportional to flux current and sin of the angle between flux and current. So it was designed uh, such that alpha is 90 because alpha is 90 sin 90 is 1 torque is maximum. I get maximum torque in DC motor because the DC motor has a space angle of 90 degrees between flux and current. So trying to get the behavior of the DC motor in induction motor or in single motor is called I have uh, I have independent control by controlling this I can control how much current by controlling this I have a source here if I count this as Vn by controlling this I can control the field current by controlling this I can control the current so I have independent control I can separately control the average current with this source, I can separately control the flux with this source. That is why in DC motor, uh, if you want to get speeds from 0 to normal speed, uh, very the voltage, speeds from N to 2N, above normal speed you vary the field, field current. So you get wide range of uh, speed current. So getting this behavior with uh, uh, synchronous motor is called vector function. But I have only one current, I don't have field current. If it is a, if it is a permanent magnet synchronous motor, there is no field current. If it is an attached motor, I cannot measure the rotor current. Rotor is, rotor is, rotor is rotating. My spooling case induction motor is welded on both sides. We said no, spooling case induction motor is similar to Indian marriage system. Once you get married, you cannot change the characteristics of your spouse. So like that, uh, in a spherical case induction motor, uh, at the time of manufacturing, the rotor bars are welded. You cannot change the characteristics. You can't connect anything to the rotor. Only shatter current is available in induction motor. In PMSM, only shatter current is there, but I will resolve that current into two components. I will resolve the current into two components, namely ID and ID. Then other average current one phase, one is I cos alpha, other one is I sin alpha, one is I d, other one is You have studied Blondel's co-reaction theory. Blondel says uh, your alternating current can be resolved into two components, namely d, d, d axis current and q axis current. So I d and I q, your, uh, your I q is similar to average current and your I d is similar to field current. So the machine is not giving me independent control. But uh, with the help of uh, my external control circuit, I have the external circuit. With that circuit, I am getting two signals, ID and IQ. So by, by controlling uh, this, uh, which is similar to my average current, I can control the torque. And by controlling this, which is similar to field current, I can control the speed. So uh, I can get independent speed control or independent torque control by using vector control, that is ID and uh, IQ. So the most complicated drive is vector control drive and um, vector control drive gives you the characteristics similar to that of DC motor. I don't want to use DC motor because it is costly. I want to use induction motor because it is cheaper. But induction motor should behave on par with DC motor. Therefore I should go for, therefore I should go for vector control. Vector, vector control, so where I get the current then convert two phase control, I will do it. But if I give two phase to the inverter, inverter cannot understand. Again, I have to convert two phase into three phase. Then that three phase signals I have to give to the inverter, which produces required frequency and uh, required delta is maintained. So this this part, this is what we call it as vector. Maybe you can refer to the internet. You find a lot of articles on. Uh, Vector control drives. And that's a good project if you want to go for that. GK today is good. Solid state DC drives by PC sen is the easiest book out of all the books. Solid state DC drives by PC sen. Murphy and Turnbull. Murphy and Turnbull is good. 
Uh, Rashi has three chapters. DC drives. Uh, DC drives. He has got. Then he has got uh, induction motor drives. He has got. So if you already have power electronics by Rashi, in that uh, DC drives chapter and induction motor and uh, synchronous motor chapters, you can follow from Rashi. Uh, out of all the books, the most easiest book is Shepherd and Wheel. For electronic control of motors by Shepherd and Wheel is the most easiest book. You will like it. Then Bindi is giving the practical aspects, types of controllers, some commercial uh, names and all. So if you want to do a project or you want to know the recent trends, uh, drive the VK Bose. VK Bose book is a collection of uh, papers. Uh, so that will uh, that will give you about fuzzy control, neural network control, all the modern controls, then this vector control, all these things are given in VK Bose. For researchers, VK Bose will be nice.